One of the most overlooked elements of game design, at least by players, is intuitiveness. Not many consider the factors that subtly reinforce gameplay actions, yet perhaps in an ironic sense, that lack of consideration within the moment can be seen as a success. The immersive capabilities brought about by intuition alone are exceptionally impactful. After all, knowing how to progress without strict instructions can make even the simplest of actions rewarding, which the Sunnyside Games developed action platformer Nocturnal embraces at its core. Yet there are a few concerning issues issues that plague its combat system. Before we get into the preview, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for making this possible. Please take a second to check out patreon.com slash noisypixel to support independent game journalism. Nocturnal follows the protagonist Ardashir, who returns to his homeland to investigate the cause of a mysterious mist that has overtaken it. In the early hours I played, storytelling and character scenes were minimal, with most of the playtime comprising platforming, puzzle solving, and combat. Thankfully, Nocturnal's apparent bread and butter appears deliciously cooked thanks to how consistently smooth the experience feels, alongside the central gimmick making it distinct. Ardashir's blade can be coated in flames, used to light the countless torches you'll find throughout your adventure, and this light source has two uses. Firstly, select torches act as switches to open doors, and second, the light of the fire hampers the presence of the dark mist seeping amidst passageways. Standing within the mist for a set period will kill you, so being mindful of the nearest flame source is imperative. The mechanic works in execution as the developer also uses it as an avenue for creative platform. Platforming. For instance, there are a few sections where you must keep a torch on a moving platform lit as you traverse a series of platforms impeded by darkness. On the other hand, combat has been somewhat hit and miss. While the enemies seem well designed and you have a dodge roll that also acts as a swift dash when Ardashir's sword is enkindled, these beginning sections make encounters come across as an afterthought. The dash, for example, feels better implemented for navigation since its utilization in fights may require overcorrection on the player's part. Plus, this could admittedly be due to me not having enough experience yet, but the minor leisure speed at which Ardashir responds to movement inputs doesn't mesh well with how fast enemies attack. Further, possibly the most questionable design choice is the healing. On the compact skill tree, the first ability you gain is a heal that can only be activated if the sword has flames. However, you can spam this at any point near any fire source, regardless of whether or not you're in a foe's vicinity. Even when taking the wind-up for performing the action into account, you essentially have a free heal that comes across as far too generous. I have a feeling you'll be able to brute force enemies enemy encounters without much consequence, but maybe you'll be wrong in the full game. Nocturnal's immediately noticeable strength is its strong platforming, leveraged by an intuitive flame-based mechanic, enabling memorable set pieces. Unfortunately, the lacking narrative and more prominently the fights may weigh down the experience, though I look forward to seeing what potential fruit these efforts ultimately bear. Nocturnal is coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, and PC in spring 2023. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth, and subscribe to keep up with all of our future content. Noisy Pixel.